Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to assign properties to structural geometry. In this video, we're going to be focusing on assigning supports to the nodes at the base of our structure. In STAD Pro, we have a variety of different support types that you can use to best reflect the situation for your particular model. Now, each node in the model has six degrees of freedom, three translational and three rotational, based on the three global axis coordinates. Now, our typical supports would be either a fixed or a pin support. A fixed support means that all six degrees of freedom will be restrained to prevent any translation or rotation at that particular node. In a pin support, basically the three translational degrees of freedom will be restrained, but then the three rotational degrees of freedom will be unrestrained. Now, if those idealized supports don't quite fit your situation, we also have several other different types of supports where you can kind of customize the fixity about each degree of freedom or specify it more as a spring value instead of an idealized support. We will now turn our attention to our sample model. Now for this particular model, we are planning to assign fixed supports for concrete columns and pinned supports at the base of our steel columns. So what we're gonna do is we're first going to go to the supports page within the workflow page control area. And you're gonna notice that the specification tab in the ribbon toolbar has automatically been turned on. Now you can go ahead and select whichever support best reflects your condition for the base of your columns. For this particular model, I'm going to be creating some pinned supports and some fixed supports. So I'm gonna start with my fixed support. I'm just going to click on my fixed icon. All the degrees of freedom are automatically selected. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click the add button and a fixed support is now ready to be assigned to any node in my model. I'm gonna repeat this process for a pinned support. Now, if either of those two different support types don't quite work for you, we have some other supports that you can choose from and you can create a custom support and a foundation. Now, what we'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and select this first support and I want to assign it to some particular nodes in my model. Now I can go ahead and select the nodes uh, that I want to assign it to. And let's go ahead and hold down Shift N on my keyboard so I can see what nodes they are. Now I'm seeing that these are my concrete columns over the left hand side and nodes one through 12 need this type of support. So I'm gonna highlight this support and this time I'm gonna use my edit list. I'm gonna say one, two, 12, and then we'll go ahead and click assign. And you can see that a fixed support was added. Now I know my pin support is going to be added to nodes number 13 to 18. So I'll go ahead and say 13 to 18 here, and then we'll click assign. And then we can see my pin supports have been added. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.